Now, if you're looking for a fast and easy way to build a high converting landing page, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. I'll show you how Merlolite's AI powered landing page builder can help you create professional pages in literally just minutes. Also, without any coding or design skills needed. From your Merlolite dashboard, Let's go ahead to our sites tab here. And also if you don't have a MailerLite account, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description below. You can go ahead and sign up for one for free. From here, we're gonna click on create site. And here we can give the site a name. Just for this example, I'm going to type in demo. And for the type, we're gonna select landing page. And now save and continue. From here, we're gonna select the subscriber groups that we want the people using this landing page to opt in to be added to. So for this example, I'll just go ahead and click select all and continue. Now, here's where the fun begins. We can start to design our landing page. Of course, you can do it from scratch or you can use one of our templates here in the template gallery. But for this example, we're going to build your landing page with AI. Next, it's going to bring us here which is going to ask us some information for the AI to better assist in building out this landing page. So from here, uh, the company or organization name, you can go ahead and put in whatever you feel you need to here. And then you can select what industry. We have a lot of presets here, as you can see. But for this one, I'm going to just select health and fitness. And here you can describe your desired landing page. I've already got this written out, so I'm going to just paste it in here. And it says a health and fitness landing page that should target health conscious individuals. Next up, we're going to select our three goals for this landing page. As you can see, we do have a selection here. And I'm going to click capture subscribers, sell a digital product, and brand awareness. You can, of course, select whatever fits your needs best. From here, I'm gonna click on continue, and it's gonna bring us to this page where we can select the styles. For example, our writing style, we have a few presets for you to choose from. For this example, I'm gonna just stick with professional, and you can also select your desired design style. Here, it can be a minimalist, modern, bold, creative, corporate, etc. I'm gonna keep it on modern for this example. And then below that, we have our theme colors. You can have AI generated, or you can customize and select uh, specific colors here. Do keep in mind though, you can also change all of this up in terms of the colors after the fact. So once it's created with AI or generated with AI rather, you can also completely edit however you see fit. And I'll show you how that works. Once that's all set, go ahead and click generate. And now we let AI work its magic. And from there, we are brought to our drag and drop editor. And as you can see on the left side, we're actually presented with three different versions. So what the AI did is it created three different versions for us to select which one we like the best. And then we can go ahead and further customize it if we want. So we'll just quickly glance at these. This looks pretty good. Covers kind of all our bases and all of the rest will have slightly different variations as well, as you can see. And we'll just cycle through the last one here real quick. So there are slightly uh, different variances here between the three. I like version C the most, so I'll go ahead and click select version C to work with. Next, here we have our drag and drop editor, which is something you may be familiar with if you've built out any campaigns with MailerLite. Here you can, of course, uh, edit any of your text. So for example, we can also use AI to have it rewrite this text. I'll highlight it, I'll copy it, and then I'll go ahead and select AI suggestions. Now, if you want to change the tone, for example, we can just put maybe catchy and I can just have it maybe change it to a title and I'll just paste that here and click on send. It'll generate a new title, as you can see here, and to quickly insert it, we can just click insert and boom, just like that, we have a brand new title here. Now, one thing I also want to show you is our AI image generator. So if we select an image here, I can go ahead and click on the AI image icon and you're brought to this prompt where you can describe your image. For this example, I'm just going to type in fitness gym. And then you can select the style. As you can see, we do have a lot of different options. I'll just click photo for this one. And of course, you can change your aspect ratio, whether it be square, portrait, or landscape. For this example, I'm just gonna follow the same aspect ratio uh, as here in the template, which is portrait. 
and then you can click on generate. Here you can also see the amount of credits that you have. Once you click generate, you'll get a generated image right here. And there we go, we have this AI generated image, which I actually really like the colors of. And um, if you want, you can just click on use this image or you can also save it to your file manager. For this example, I'll just go ahead and click use image. And also one thing to uh, note is if you didn't like that result, you can also click create again and it'll generate a different one for you. Let's go ahead and click add there. And there you have it. Of course, you can also change the colors and all the text in all of these blocks. And if you wanted to add something, you can click here in the sections and do you have tons of different options like heroes, content, social proof, FAQs, features, events, and etc. all right here. And another thing to note is if you wanted to change the style a bit more, we do have a lot more options here that offers you tons of customizations. And if you want maybe just to change a uh, preset of a style, you can do so here, as you can see, this is just more of a preset for you to base all of your editing off of in case you didn't want to go through each individual one and change the colors accordingly. One other thing I want to show you guys is up here in the nav bar. If I click on it, you can see we're presented with a gear icon. If I click on that, we're offered a few more options pertaining specifically to the navigation bar. If we want, we can show or hide a logo. The same with the buttons, we can hide or show that. And we can have the navigation bar stay on top while we scroll down. Same with style, we have a few more options here. We can change the background color, we can add a border and change the border color. Once you got that all settled, you can actually go ahead and click done editing. And that's a wrap. It's pretty amazing stuff, right? If you're ready to save time building out your next landing page, sign up for a free trial with MailerLite today. I'll go ahead and put a link down below in the description. Thanks for watching and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. With that said, I'll catch you all in the next one.